Hi everybody, this video I'm to talk about two things, two issues with the Quest when it comes to mixed reality. The first thing is noise, the other thing is this wobbly distorted effect uh, when you kind of remove uh, your hand, for example, or object uh, against the scene. Now, the thing that you see here that when I put my hand uh, in front of the camera, you see the scene great brighter, right? And it will happen also depends, what I think is this kind of an average of the light in the scene. And this is where this come, I think this kind of exposes the compensation. Now, usually you expect, for example, noise in a, in a darker scene to be increased because the ISO uh, increase in order to compensate for the lack of light. Now it seems that it's not related to it. Again, the reason you see the noise in dark again, because there's kind of a grayish color. And uh, basically if you put it in, in a well lit room, it's much less visible, but still the noise is there even when it's bright, but just less visible. What I've noticed also, and I try to play with it, increasing the, increasing the brightness of the screen, which by the way, if I change it here, you can actually see it. But I think it's maybe related to the shutter speed, uh, because what I've noticed is that I try to compare it to the, to the higher brightness when I'm manually increasing the brightness in the setting, the brightness of the screen. And I noticed that if I'm lowering it more and kind of uh, use this technique to hide, not hide, sorry, um, uh, put something dark uh, and the scene gets brighter, but not very, very bright, I feel that kind of a noise suddenly settled down. And again, if it was the ISO, you expect the noise to be ramped up if the ISO was higher. But it seems like it seems based on my observation that it's not the case. That's why I think there's maybe some kind of exposure compensation happening when be the shutter speed that leads to it. So basically more light can get in, and basically this reduces, again, maybe this reduces the ISO needed in order to, you know, if there is a change in ISO. Uh, so it's reduced and maybe that what causes less noise. So if it can be solved, if it can be solved, this is the problem, they can be solved with the firmware, maybe give users some exposure compensation option that you can use in order to be able to compensate, give it extra, this extra light. And this may be mean behind the scenes, the sensor can just lower the ISO and maybe this will lead to less noise. But again, I'm not 100% sure. I'm opening to discussion here in the comment section. And just before we move to the other uh, section, to the other problem, you can see that I use a black box here and now scene gets brighter because of that. Now, again, I tried before to compare it to the screen brightness to see if it's has an effect. And basically it seems like, you, you still not understand, the brighter screen will probably uh, compensate visually uh, for the noise because it can be more of the same color. But I did notice the pattern of the noise movement, uh, even when it's very bright, and I've noticed that it's kind of a settled down a bit. That's why I'm thinking that there's an option to kind of uh, give us maybe a kind of exposure compensation option and maybe they can optimize it further to improve so it won't be that noisy. Uh, one thing I do recommend, again, this is visually, is increasing the screen's brightness uh, more. For me, it just didn't come full, so we can just grab it until the right side to make it uh, much brighter, not much brighter, but brighter, when it will reduce this kind of uh, the visual effect of the noise. Uh, it's not kind of a solution, but you can see it here, by the way, it, it's not recording with the changes of brightness, but if you change the brightness of the screen and make it even more bright, it'd be less visible for you. Now, the other thing is related to this wobbly effect, distortion effect. Now, I did watch I Fix It, and there uh, he mentioned in his video, the MetaQuest 3 teardown, that the LCD screen, and yeah, their LCD are actually oriented uh, kind of uh, in an angle. So based on what I understand, this was done, you mentioned this was done to increase the field of view, but it also lead to this distortion that you actually see here. Again, they, this is based on my understanding. And I was actually, I asked myself, why it's actually there? Look at this, it's just, it's even close to be unacceptable. It's not really bothers me in regular use, but it's definitely there, you can actually see it. So probably the reason for that is because of the diagonal alignment of this as you risk to increase the field of view, but this is the cost, uh, you know, uh, this, uh, these solutions. And this is it. Again, take everything as a grain of salt. I'm trying to figure this thing out. And if you have more information, let us know in the comment section below. I want to hear what you think. Thanks for watching.